My name is Dave Moss. I am Director of Investigations at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and this is Bad Letters. Today I'm going to use my beginner graffiti skills to teach you about a type of surveillance that might be coming to the skies above your town one day soon. The abbreviation is DFR. DFR stands for Drone is First Responder. The general idea is that a police department purchases a fleet of drones and sends one out every time a call for service, such as a 911 call, comes in. That way, they have remote eyes on the scene before the patrol cars arrive. In practice, however, DFR programs are surveillance. Drones equipped with video cameras can be constantly flying over a city, gathering data the entire time. DFR is setting the stage for a new mass surveillance regime. Drone fleets are already being equipped with tracking technology, like automated license plate readers, and the addition of features like face recognition and other types of AI is well within reach. This style of police surveillance has spread across the country. In fact, just since May 2025, 400 agencies have received approval from the Federal Aviation Administration to start DFR programs. Police claim that DFR programs make everyone safer by giving police situational awareness of dangerous scenes. But when you look at the flight logs, they're often for low-level issues. For example, in Oceanside, California, they were recently used to respond to reports of an annoying car alarm and dogs being illegally walked on a beach. DFR is also frequently used to respond to reports related to unhoused people. Drones first responder programs are just another garbage surveillance system that residents will be paying dearly for, not only with their tax dollars, but their personal privacy.